before we go into editing, let's talk about my feed. I have a color coordinated feed and all the pictures are basically arranged to follow the change of colors in the rainbow. All the pictures are arranged to follow the colors of the rainbow. Most of the time when I am planning a shot, I have to make sure that there is enough space for me in the picture to change the color. So the space could be say a backdrop, a wall, or it could be a the clothing that I'm wearing. As long as majority of the space in the picture is of the color that I want, it's going to appear of that color in my feed. Now we're gonna jump into editing. The first thing I do is to open up Lightroom and I import my pictures into Lightroom. And this is the one that I want to edit. So let's go here, right here. I'm not a pro at Lightroom, so I really just do the very basic corrections. Light, bring down the highlights a little bit, up the shadows, down whites. You can play around with Lightroom and see your preference for the colour of the picture. Okay, very straightforward. So now that I'm done with my Lightroom edit, I bring it to Photoshop. This takes a while. There! Our photo is now in Photoshop. And the first thing I do is to create a new layer. So I duplicate the background and this is a background copy. This is the layer that I'm going to work on. And I am going to now mask myself out. I do this by using the quick select tool. And I just click on myself. This tool is able to select on broad areas in the picture, but it's not super precise. We will fix that, don't worry, it's okay. The quick select tool is not the best at selecting small details. Say for example, if you look at this shirt, right, it's quite an elaborate print, so it's not selecting the lines very clearly. So I'm gonna use the lasso tool and go over the straight line. Now we have selected uh, the main subject, in this picture it's myself, I'm going to create a new layer of just that subject by clicking Ctrl J and I will click on the background copy and create a new layer again. So this is the layer that I'm going to add the colour to and the colour that I'm going to add today is green. Using the brush tool, I'm going to add green to the container behind me. The opacity I'm using is 23%, but you can play around with that to see whichever suits your picture better. And I'm also going to colour in the floor. I'm going to create a new layer again. And I'm going to choose a darker shade of green. And I think we are done. I'm gonna transfer the file over to my phone. Thank you computer editing child. Now we're gonna move on to phone edits. The first thing that I do when I bring the picture to my phone is to open up Fiesco. It's an app and I always get told off by my photographer friends for using Fiesco to edit my pictures because Lightroom has very similar functions. In fact, Lightroom has more uh, capabilities at photo editing than Fiesco does but I still use this app because I'm very used to it. For Viesco, the first thing that I do is to adjust the fade. I'm going to bring the fade up to about 5. 
Fade helps me to blend the colours uh, between the main subject, so the one in front, and the colours that I've painted on. Now I'm going to bring up the temperature just a little bit because I prefer when my pictures are a bit warmer. I still want to maintain the colour of my skin, so I'll bring my skin tone, give it more pink. My final step is to put on a filter, which is HB2. I use HB2 across all my pictures on Instagram. This is to standardise how the colours are. But I don't bring it up that high, so maybe about 6. 6 would be just enough for this picture. Adjust it based on how you've edited the picture. Bringing up the exposure is something that I do to blend the colour of the main subject as well as the painted colour together. But not too much, don't overexpose it. And I am done! Back to you, computer child. Yes, okay, so this is just the right shade that I have. There are still hints of blue in this picture, but it is majority green. Good job. Yes, so that's basically how I did my pictures for Instagram. When it comes to planning my Instagram feed, I used to use apps such as Planoly or Preview to have a look at the feed before I actually upload the picture. It basically shows you what your feed would look like, and that's what I used to use, but I'm so, I'm so used to... I said used to like three times. I'm very used to editing my pictures now, so usually when I just look at my Instagram, I can kind of tell what the next colour should be, so I don't use it anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video. If uh, you want me to make another video related to photo editing, I'll try my best to just let me know down in the comments or DM me. Okay, bye! Itchy, itchy. Strange spot to be itchy.